Hey guys, let's take a look at lesson 60. This is a real simple short one. Uh, it just deals with geometric solids. Um, and look at the pictures first off in your book on pages 242 to 243. I'll just go ahead and pause it if you want to and then just take a look at those pictures. I'm assuming you've looked at them. Um, just make sure you know the terms that are on the screen right there. Right prism, cylinder, lateral surface, and right cylinder. You can see a cylinder, most of us think of a cylinder as like a, uh, like a soup can, and you know, it's like a cylinder, like a tube almost. A cylinder can be, um, well, in other words, that's a 3D figure that has like a circle or an oval as a base, like the top, you look down on, you know, on the can, it looks like this. But a cylinder can also mean um, uh, a 3D object like that, a solid that has a, a rectangular uh, base or a triangular base. Either one of those are considered cylinders as well. Lateral surface just means, lateral means side, so the surface area of the sides all the way around. When you have a, a tube, like a can, like a soup can, you're only gonna have actually one side, you know, because it just keeps going. On the other ones, you'll have, you know, defined sides, and we'll look at a couple of those in a second. A right cylinder means simply that it's, you know, it's sitting at a right angle uh, against the ground or wherever it is, and uh, we'll take a look at that in a second. Um, two things you need to memorize. Just memorize these or write them down or, you know, if you're still doing your uh, notes, write it on the top, you know, of your notes somewhere and make sure you mark 60 with a big, you know, at the top right of your notes. Um, first off, look at that. Write that down. The volume of a cylinder or a prism is simply the area of the base times the height. And what we're going to be doing the rest of the year, and actually algebra two as well, um, you're going to add to, you're going to be asked to find the volume of this, you know, uh, rectangular solid or some some kind of a geometric solid, a soup can, a uh, you know giant lump of cheese, who knows, you know. Um, but all you need to know is first off, how tall is the thing? That's the height, of course. What's the area of the base? And that's you know sometimes they'll tell you the area of the base if it's a weird shape. Sometimes they'll say, well, you know, it's a square with a side length of four. And you'll go, okay, the area of the base is uh, four times four, 16, you know, rectangle. Or they'll tell you a triangle or a circle. You know, the area of a circle is pi times radius squared. So you'll just figure that out, multiply it by the height, you got the volume, that's what it is, okay? All right, so let's do one here. <clears throat> the area of the base of the right pentagonal prism is 35 square centimeters. In other words, look at the top of that thing, okay? It's a you know, it's a pentagon, five-sided figure. The area of that is 35 square centimeters, okay? The length of a lateral edge is 10. What's the volume? Well, you know, if you want to look at that as a cake, in other words, when you say volume, you're trying to figure out how many cubes, you know, centimeter cubes, cube centimeter, cubic centimeters will go into that thing. Well, think about, look, look at the very top. Pretend that thing is a 10-layer cake. It's very tall. Um, but it's 35 uh, square centimeters, you know, the base is. Well, if you just cut one layer of it, okay, in other words, it's 10 layers high, right? 10 inch or 10 centimeters high. Just cut one layer of it. That's going to give you 35 cubes, right? In other words, that's 35 cubic centimeters, all right? Well, what they're telling you is, is this thing is 10, you know, centimeters high. So if you think about it as a layer cake, what you're talking about is, 35 cubic centimeters for one layer, and then they're telling you, you have 10 layers. So the answer to this is simply 35 times 10, 350 cubic centimeters. That's how many are in there, okay? And again, sometimes these things will be circles as a base, sometimes they'll be a, a rectangle, sometimes it'll be a triangle. You know how to find the area of all those. Probably the hardest one is the circle because you need to remember that, that um, the formula, pi, uh, uh, area equals pi times the radius squared, which we'll do some of those before the year ends. Okay, second thing you need to memorize is lateral surface area or a cylinder or a prism. You just need to memorize this. Now, lateral surface area means <clears throat> the surface area of the sides of a prism or a cylinder. That's it. Not the top, not the bases, just the lateral, just around that uh, prism or cylinder, all right? And the way you do that is you figure out the perimeter. You know what perimeter is, right? The distance around something. All you do is find the perimeter and of the base and multiply it by the height. That's it. That's all you need to do. Okay, so pause if you want to write that down. All right, let's take a look. Find the lateral surface area of this right prism. The bases are re regular pentagons, which means the angles and the sides are the same. <clears throat> Dimensions are in meters. Okay, whatever. Okay, 
So what you can do is, let's say you completely forget. You totally forget. They're asking, again, not for the bases. They want the lateral, the side surface area. So let's just say you completely forgot. You, you just totally escaped your mind. Well, you could sit there and go, well, look at the thing. It's 15 units high. Okay, meters high. That's a big prism. Okay, anyway. Uh, it's 15 meters high, and it's eight, you know, <clears throat> those sides, they, they will tell you it are eight each. Okay. And they tell you they're eight each because it says regular. Well, the lateral surface area of one of those sides is eight times 15, which is 120. Okay. And you could go, well, <clears throat> 120 for each one. There's one, two, three, four, five, 120 times five, boom, 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 600. There's your 600 uh, square meters. That's your lateral surface area. But with the formula, which is this, the perimeter of the base times the height. Well, what's the perimeter? Look at the base. If every single one of those sides is eight and it's a pentagon, what's the perimeter of the base? Eight times five, right? It's 40. Okay. So the perimeter around that pentagon is 40. Okay. So all you need to do is take the, the perimeter of that, which is 40, 40 times 15. And again, you'll get the same thing. Uh, 40 times 15 is 600. Same thing you would have got if you'd have taken 8 times 15 and got 120 and then gone and done it five times. Okay, same old thing. Okay. All right, so uh, 40 times 15 because the mm -hmm. perimeter of the base is 15. All right, so let's try uh, A and B. You can go ahead and pause it and uh, in your book and try problem A. Okay, they tell you the area of the base is 34 square inches. Can you visualize that? In other words, that, that pentagon is at the top and the bottom is 34 square inches inside there. The length of the side, in other words, is 12 units high or 12 inches high. What is the volume? Well, again, visualize this as a cake, okay? When you're finding volume, you're trying to find the number of actual cubes that fit into this. Remember, a length is one dimension. That's why there's just a one by it. Look at the problem. A, an area, as you see the little two, that means you're doing two dimensions, like a square foot or something like that, square yard or whatever. Okay, three dimensions, that's the volume. That's how many cubic inches you're looking for. You can visualize a cubic inch, right? I mean, that's just a little cube like this, okay? All right, well, <clears throat> if you look at this as a layer cake, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, top, <coughs> excuse me, yeah, um, layer will be, you just slice it off, it's 34 uh, cubic inches, right? Okay, but there are 12 of them. So you just multiply 34 by 12, which is 408, which means 408 cubes will fit into that that, that uh, prism right there. Okay. All right. Pause it and try B. <clears throat> okay. Well, let's look at B. The lateral surface area, again, you're not looking at the bases. No bases, just the sides. Okay. And let's say you completely forgot and you went, oh, I forgot the whole formula. I don't know what to do. Well, you know, just look at that front side looking at it. It says 12 by 16, right? You can do the math. You know, 12 times 16, 192. There it is. Well, you can look and go, well, here's one, two, three, four, five of those. Okay, so five times 192, 960. That's how many square feet you're looking at, okay? But if you remember the formula, which is the uh, perimeter of the base times the height, okay? Well, the perimeter of the base, look at it. There's a 12. There's another 12, another one, another one, another one. They tell you it's a, you know, look at this. They tell you it's a regular pentagon, which means all those sides are the same on the base, all right? So you go 12 times five, since there are five sides, that's 60, right? Okay, well, 60 times 16, that is 960, the same thing we just got a minute ago by doing it the long way. But if you remember the formula, it's a lot easier to do, so, okay. All right, thanks guys, have a great day. We'll see you.